Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. So we are starting a new project. You've seen the title, this is going to be the biggest yet. So we are building the Boeing 777-9X. This plane was actually one of the first big projects that I built on this channel back in 2017, which was around 3.6 meters wingspan. And that plane actually got me uh, started like on YouTube because people were watching that. And because of that plane, actually I could do this for a living. I started that plane on, on my kitchen floor, which was crazy, um, made it out of different form. It took me over a year to finish that plane. You know, the resources were limited and also the space were very limited. So it was a struggle, but I finished that plane. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best uh, ever. It, uh, it looked good, but uh, flying wise uh, was actually terrible. It flew a couple of times and it was just sitting on the shelves. And uh, two years ago, I gave it to a fashion brand. Uh, they make bags called Elemi in France. And they used it to do some photo shootings with it, which was a great ending to that project. Of course, I took the ADFs out. And so that plane obviously is uh, very special. We love the 777. Me and Tyler, we really love airliners, especially the 777. And so we decided to build this one, uh, 10 meters wingspan. This one's gonna be, which is scale one to 7.5. Now with building something that big, uh, we actually have no idea how long this might take, but we actually learned a lot building those massive projects that we did before. And so we had to try new methods, new materials, like machining all the bars out of ABS form, uh, which worked great for us and the previous projects. The usual things, we will wrap it with carbon, not everything, we will try a new material. This material is called Boleria, which is a plastic that is used on movie props. It is a bit heavier than carbon, but we're gonna use it only on the fuselage. Now this spray is not the traditional material that is used on airplanes, like RC airplanes. But as I said, for us to save the time, I think we can sacrifice some weight because, I mean, those wings are massive. So having some extra weight won't be an issue. But wings and stabilizers is going to be fully carbon fiber. So far, we have a good plan of how we're going to build this project. The fuselage is ready. We machined tail, nose and the wing box and the midsection, which is actually a simple tube. So we started with uh, gluing all the pieces of the fuselage together. Unfortunately, we did not film any of the machining process because I was not here. So we glued all the bars together. And this was the first time where actually Tyler saw the plane and his reaction was actually hilarious because we've never seen a plane that big and uh, his reaction was priceless. <laughs> 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 Come on in. Feast your eyes. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are <laughs> we, we, we lost our we minds, lost our minds officially. <laughs> it's still there's the three feet uh, piece of it still missing. What? I ran out of foam. I used all the foam we have. We're out of foam. <laughs> Look at his face. Wait, wait, I gotta see that. This is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. I know, I've been telling you, but nope. You want to go big? Nah, this is gonna be awesome. Yes. This is gonna yes. be epic. So after making sure that everything lined up, we glued all the bars together. After that, we started with the spray actually, and it took around two hours to spray the whole thing completely. It took a couple of uh, layers, but this plastic cures immediately. So in the same day, actually, we could start with the sanding. We had to sand the whole thing, still some uh, more sanding. Now we already tried this material before on another plane. Uh, this one is the Citation M2. This one was sprayed from the outside and inside as well, a thin layer from inside. It's really strong that this plane once had to do a belly landing, the gear did not come down. So it landed on an asphalt runway and the material barely scratched.
my god. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> That's crazy. Hey buddy. All right, it's wrapped from inside, top and bottom. There's carbon there, and we put some carbon tape around those empty areas. You know, we don't need carbon everywhere, but still we will have to add a couple of bulkheads in here just to reinforce it. I mean, it's actually fantastic now, super strong, but we might maybe add two in the nose, two in the back, and here will be the wing box. Also a couple of bulkheads in here to support this area. And this is not the final hatch, we will, uh, it's right there, we will glue it back on this and uh, then uh, cut the final hatch, which will be smaller, but we still don't know where yet. When we finish the plane, we know where the CG is, where the batteries go, then we cut the hatch. And it might be like on the side something, because, you know, it's gonna be so high, so on the side or something. But yeah, uh, looking great. Next, we will start uh, working on the stabilizers. First, we will make the vertical stabilizer. This thing's gonna be massive. And then we will go ahead and uh, either make the horizontal stabilizers or put the bulkheads and um, yeah. Um, that's crazy.
All right, we're done with this. That other is glued and works really nice. I love this. Uh, there is no blade in it whatsoever. Uh, super nice, four aluminum hinges in here. Uh, double bush rods and this servo is a high voltage servo, runs on 4S. And uh, yeah, we, we need all that torque. This is, I think, around 110 kilos of torque, which is fantastic. And uh, this here, this is part of the rudder. I wanna glue it afterwards and uh, we'll be moving with the rudder itself. So, uh, we'll glue that. I wanna put this on the plane and um, um, show you guys how massive this is. Keep in mind that the fuselage is actually on the floor, so when this is when the whole plane is on its landing gear, it's gonna be even higher. Just crazy. All right, I'm gonna call it for this video. Uh, in the next one, we will actually start the wings. The wings. We already started the wings. So next video is gonna be the wings and the stabilizers. They will be in I don't know which video, but uh, we're starting in the wings now. So uh, yeah, next video is gonna be wings so stay tuned and i will see you guys very soon